Hi friends, today we will make Indian roti. Uh, for roti, we are taking wheat flour. I am adding pinch of salt in it. And then what we are going to do is we are going to knead the flour. It's two cups of flour, and I'm taking one cup of water. I'm adding the water slowly, and I'm just kneading the uh, wheat flour to make a nice soft dough. Just slowly add water and try to make a nice soft dough the key to getting good rotis is by getting the dough right which can be done by hand or you can use a food processor as well just make sure you don't put too much of water after five minutes you can see that you know your flour has been converted into a nice soft dough I'm adding little more water and will continue the kneading process the more you knead the nice the roti will come out just use the quantity of water as a guide as flour vary in their capacity of absorption of water depending on their humidity once you are comfortable with making the basic dough there is endless scope of experiment by mixing in a variety of other flours like spices like cumin and uh, minced herbs like mint or coriander just pour in the water slowly and gathering the flow uh, the, the flour together until you get a soft and moist dough it should not be too sticky if you feel that it has been not too much just little bit flour to make the dough correct we need a soft moist dough which in which we can make the roti and it should not stick in our hands okay now my dough is ready see how soft moist it is I have just put my finger in the dough and my finger came out very neatly without sticking the dough on my finger tawa or okay before that what we are going to do is just we are going to pat little bit of clarifying butter or you can put a little bit of olive oil on top of our dough and we will cover it and keep it aside for 10 more minutes you can put muslin cloth if you have okay after 10 minutes my dough is ready and now i'm going to make small balls and then we will make the roti so that's the size of the ball which we need to make a perfect Indian roti. Meanwhile, you can place a tawa or a heavy cast iron griddle over medium heat. Just dip the dough, the ball. Take one ball, dip in it into the flour and roll it into a thin circle about five and a half to six inches diameter you can use extra flour while rolling the dough to prevent the dough from sticking to the surface however use as little as required as too much flour will make the okay now i have just put my roti on the tawa and making the another roti You can roll it uh, like whatever you, the way you want. And if you're not able to make 
a perfect round shape do not worry practice makes man perfect as the roti on the tawa is cooked now i will remove it from the tawa and will cook it on the flame on high flame i have just put my roti Okay, I've just flipped it over. See, one side, what? Sorry, one side should be a little bit cooked, and one side need to be a bit raw. And we will put the raw side on the heat. Okay, I'm putting the roti on the flame now. See how the roti has puffed up because the dough is nice, soft, moist, and that's why. If you liked this video, please do rate, comment, and subscribe. Keep watching the video. Thanks for watching, Priya's Kitchen. You can serve the roti with sabzi, salad, and enjoy your meal. Thank you. Bye.